But you know, I'm a sugar. He called sugar the devil. Mm. He called he wow. refers to sugar as the devil. And uh, and so uh, I called Joe supporter right there on the thing because I'm hot. Because the OC out at the airport called him every time. It's scary. I said, Joseph, that punk, ever. he was going to sign that, Reggie. I swear, he was going to sign it. Bring the paperwork to me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Ask this question. I got to get back to it, y'all. Go ahead. Okay. Um, DOC, we interviewed him just okay. about a, a good three weeks ago. And he told me that originally he was a owner of Death Row. 30%. I'm just telling you. And and this is something that uh, I looked and there was an article in the beginning. That, uh, in the beginning mm-hmm. He was a owner. And I don't know how you end up not being an owner. Mm-hmm. I didn't get that part. But... He started Death Row with, uh, I believe, Dre and Suge Knight. He did tell us how he wasn't one anymore. He did tell us in our interview. He just haven't put that okay, part out. Okay, okay, I haven't put it out yet. What What do you know about that? I'm the one that actually, who well, I met with DOC, that scary nigga. He had me fly through the- He's scary? Uh, Why he was scary? Yeah, listen to his interviews and then come back and tell me, ask me that. He's a sweet dude. Good dude. Right. Telling so, so what was hell. so scary about him to you? Listen to his interviews and tell you. <laughs> but my point is, this is what the nigga did to me. This is what I always laugh about. And then I'll get back to the to the actual question. So we DOC got a, ju- a judgment against us. Uh, uh, him and Dick Griffey. And they, they they went in and they had this attorney called Amanda Joseph Porter and Amanda Metcalf Metcalf were the attorneys. And uh, so DOC, I was like, DOC, come on, man. We need to get this, this judgment off. I got, I think it was $200,000 check. You sign off on it and, and $150,000. It was either one hundred fifty, $200,000. It was like half of what the judgment was for because he got a judgment for like $400,000. And, uh, or settlement. I forget if it was a judgment or an actual settlement that him and Dick Griffey had got awarded. And so I was trying to get it signed off because I was trying to purchase the Shug, the building from Shug, and they had a lien on the, the the office. And so, yeah, Reg, come on in, come on. But uh, meet me at the airport. And back then, you could you used to have tickets where you could go past the and meet people at the gate. I'll meet you at the gate, and so I fly to Dallas. Me get off the plane. All right, DLC here, sign this because I got, got to catch my flight. I'm jumping right back on. I ain't doing it now. I just want to see if y'all go, y'all got the money. Y'all going to bring the money. Oh, Doc, what's up, man? You had me fly all the way out here. You couldn't have called me two or three hours ago before I got on this plane and did all this. So what I found out, he was just taping me for whatever reason, the conversation and saying, he thought I was going to come and threaten him and all that because he knew how shit normal good down was. But I was really trying to do good business with him. But I, something told me, so I called his attorney, Joseph Porter, who was his attorney, and I said, Joseph, you know I'm about to go meet with DOC. And this, uh, did he tell you? No, nah, but if that nigga signed the paper, let me know because that means he's trying to circumvent my third or whatever. Fine. So anyway, make a long story short. DOC didn't sign the paperwork. He was taping me, trying to t- thought I was going to threaten him or do some shug bullshit or whatever. Because he didn't really know me. DOC was before my time. And but so, he know you with shug. But he know I'm with shug. He called shug the devil. Mm. He called, he wow. refers to shug as the devil. And uh, and so uh, I called Joe supporter right there on the thing because I'm hot. Because DOC out at the airport called him every time. It's scary. I said, Joseph, that punk, ever. he was going to sign that, Reggie. I swear, he was going to sign it. Bring the paperwork to me. <laughs> and Joseph Porter ended up signing the paperwork and took the money. I don't know what him and DOC deal worked out, but I got what I, you know, ultimately you want. wanted done. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I always had a disdain in my, 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 uh, my about DOC, him. about that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.